Dawson reads the blitz and hits Otis Taylor in the flat as they upset the heavily favored Vikings in the Super Bowl of 1970. Trent Green, Dante Hall has burned the Chiefs on returns here the last two years. Mahomes looking to flip, takes it in for the touchdown. From the program, Saran Petro. Thank you very much, Curtis. Hey, round of applause for my buddy Curtis Siebel. Voice of God, that's what he does. Couple other shout outs, Vicky, Hurricane, uh, Sean, some of our listeners, I didn't get a chance to get up and say hi to. Hoping to catch you later. Thank you very much for coming out. And a shout out to Coach Pinkle, who won the Lifetime Achievement Award. Let's give a round of applause to Coach Pinkle. Let me tell you something, you don't call your own shot very often. I was one of the first guys to interview Coach Pinkle. I said, hey, you got this Brad Smith guy. He goes, we will always have a quarterback in Missouri. And he did every single year. Gary Pinkle, that's why the guy's a winner. It's a lot of love for Coach Pinkle. Let's welcome our guests out here. We got the Kansas City Chiefs. Who's the Chiefs fan in the house? Huh? Let's go. I'd like to welcome Trent Green, the guy you hear every Monday with me during the football season, CBS Sports analyst, face man, quarterback, thin guy. I'm jealous. Trent Green, Warren Moon. Let's go, Hall of Famer. Warren Moon is here, come on. Let's go. More championship rings than anybody. I watched the CFL, let's dance. Still love the CFL. Oh my God, the nightmare. The nightmare is here, Christian Okoye. Let's go, Christian. I went to Syracuse University, a Kansas City guy. I've talked about how George Brett started conversations for me. Oh, geez, do I know anybody from Boston? Oh, nobody from Philly. Oh, you guys know the nightmare? Oh, yeah, I know Christian Okoye. Not really, I didn't. But it made my world at Syracuse University a lot better because of the way Christian Okoye can play football. Let's welcome Dustin Colquitt here. Dustin Colquitt, in my opinion, I mean, it's hard to say, one of the most underrated football players of all time. Oh, he's just a punter. Except every time the ball was at like the four yard line. Come on now. I'm tired of people crapping on you, Dustin. I'm gonna stick up for you. Cause you've had a tough life, right? I feel like we're social distancing again. <laughs> Are we doing that again? Dustin, let's start with you, right? Kansas City Chiefs, you, you're here your whole career and you finally win a championship. What was it like? Like, that's the storybook ending, right? I guess maybe the storybooks win it early, but to play all those years, play at the highest level, be a pro bowler, be recognized personally, but to finally win that team goal, what did it mean for you? It was, it was a lot better when I actually got to punt in the game. I, I was actually nervous that we would not punt in the game. And I was thinking, like, did I actually play in the game if I only hold? And uh, I think one of the, the coolest kind of moments of that whole Super Bowl was the fans. You pull into the stadium, the hotel is packed beyond re recognition. I mean, there's so many people down there and it was a Red Sea in Miami and that was a lot of fun to be a part of. So yeah. bringing that back, yeah. That's right. Christian, football is a physical game. 265 pounds. Indeed. New to the game, but could still run faster than anybody else. You're athletic. Right, you're big, you're strong. They're handing you the ball, and every time they give you the ball, there's this big fat ass Tim Grunhard <laughs> that's in your way. What was it like to have Timmy? Like, I heard a conversation from his end that you told him, "Listen, either you move him, or I move you." That's right. We just talked about that this week. Is that true? That is true. That is true. T Tim did well for me. I tell you, I have no complaints with Tim and the rest of the guys in front of me. Uh, the people that you have to ask are the quarterbacks, the guys that put their hands on the team's ass. <laughs> you got to ask him what it was like. But, but, but he but, did well for me. But does it bother you, Tim? Stand up. Stand up. Let the people see you. Come on, Tim. Does it bother <laughs> you 
<laughs> that today he looks like a bodybuilder, and back then, I mean, he was this doughy, fatty, kind of Notre dame white guy. Like, did that bother you back then? Because it, it bothers me now. He's in better shape now than when he played. Does that, does that bother Tim, you? Because it bothers Tim me. Tim is half the man he used to be. He lost a lot of weight, which is good for him, of course. But when he was playing, he was a big guy, and he moved the guys around. So I enjoyed it a lot. All right, you're a kind man. You're a kind man, Christian. <laughs> Warren, Warren. First of all, Warren, one of the best. I've had a chance to interview Warren many times. But seriously, like, you finished your career here in Kansas City. We love you. But seriously, spinning for like 500 plus yards against the Chiefs, like, do you feel guilty right now that you threw, was it 527? Like, do you feel guilty as you sit here on the stage today with Chiefs fans everywhere that you burnt? Sorry, Bill. Where's Bill? Where's Bill Moss? You, Bill, you burnt Bill in the defense like that? Like, come on. I was actually really nervous going into that game, to tell you the truth. I mean, you, you got to remember the Chiefs had like, I think, seven or eight guys on their defense that were all pro. You know, you had Derek Thomas on one side and Neil Smith on the other, Dan Saliamua in the middle. You had Albert Lewis on one corner, Kevin Ross on another corner, Deron Chieri back in the, in the secondary. So they were loaded on defense, and they were one of the best in the, uh, in the league. So we knew we had our work cut out for us when we came in here. It just happened to be one of those days where things went right. But um, the thing I was happy about, I was able to play against the Chiefs, which we hated playing in, in Arrowhead because the fans here are were amazing, and I, I got a chance to finish my career here with the Chiefs, and I got a chance to see that side of it, which made it even more special to, to finish my career, and, and people were here, here were so good to me. So uh, I really appreciated the support. I didn't play a whole lot in my last couple of years, but I still got a chance to experience what it was like to be a Chief. It's an amazing town, no doubt. That was, that was the most polite answer you like that? to <laughs> dropping a five-piece on a bunch of all pros and, and pro bowlers. That, that was the nicest way to say, I threw hey, 525 diplomatic. on all you guys. That was, that was good. That was good. All right, real quick, Trent, stand up. Stand up real quick. All right. Who weighs more, me or Trent? <laughs> and then who wears it better? Don't let the black suit fool you. You know, the it's slimming, slimming effects. It's, it's slimming, slimming. It effect. Is. That's it. Is. Thank that you, is. Trent. That Thank is. you. Is. Yes. Okay, yes. you sit back down. Yes. You sit back yes. down. Yes. You sit yes. back yes. down. Yes. Trent uh, weighs more than you do. You're just short. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wear it well, though, right? Yeah. I don't, I'm not going to move like Steven because a button might pop off my shirt if I do. So I'll let Steven do that. Trent, I, 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 I want to ask you this. There was a, a statement I made about you when you were playing. I was doing the show. I used to annoy Trent at his locker. We wanted to talk. I, like every day. Every time the media was over, yes. Oh, were, my God. Yes. The looks I get at Trent. It's so funny now talking to him because I yeah. get the, like, that look. And you're like, okay, that was a good question. Because I pissed the guy off, right? Now I get to talk to him every Monday. It's awesome. Yeah. But I used to make the statement, I don't know how Trent, who I used to claim only weighed like 210, because I don't think he's that big a guy, right? Yeah. And we've argued about what his weight was back then. Yeah. I'm like, the guy, I don't know how he walks with the stones that he carries. Because you stood in the pocket, and you had a great offensive line. You weren't hit very often. You had yeah. a great offensive yeah. line, right? I'm they, not hating yeah. on the old line. Right. But you would stand in there, and you took some shots. How do you do it, right? Like, how does the quarterback go, oh, yeah, I see it. I'm going to get wrecked, but I'm going to wait, and I'm going to wait, and then I'm going to deliver the ball. Well, you, you could easily ask Warren this, too, because he, he played a lot longer than I did and a lot more success in more games. Well, he was better at getting rid of the ball. He was, yeah, that, that's true, too. But and, and I'd love to hear Warren's answer also, but early in my career in the NFL, Norv Turner, I was going over coverages one day with, a, with my quarterback coach at the time. And we're going through coverages, and Norv happens to walk by in the offseason, and he, he sees us in there talking about it, and he's like, hey, what are you guys talking about? I go, well, I'm going through my progressions, where my hot read is, where my side adjust is, if I get this coverage, switch it. And I go, if I get this blitz, where I'm putting the football, he looks at me, he sets his coffee down, and he goes, you're going to get busted in the mouth on every single pass, and you better get used to it. And if you're not, if you're not going to accept that, then get the – heck out of the room because that's playing football in the NFL. If you don't get hit, then that's a bonus. So every time we call a pass play, anticipate you're going to get busted in the mouth. And you better accept just standing in the pocket, getting the ball out and, you know. And uh, that was 
I had already been cut twice, Warren. I'd already been, <laughs> I'd already been cut in San Diego and cut up in uh, BC Lions. So I was like, hey, if you want me standing in the pocket and get busted in the mouth, I'll do that. So yes, I, I learned a valuable lesson that day. It, it's amazing. It's the exact same conversation Chad Boger had with me. Every day you go in that studio, you're gonna get busted in the mouth. Yeah. You get busted out. Hey, let's have. And you remember when I got knocked out? It, what was I doing? I was running, right? I was like, yeah, <laughs> run. yeah, Don't dumb run. me, right? Stand in the right? pocket, get hit. Don't take off and run. Both you guys go tell 15. That's how it works. Don't run. Don't run. Hey, listen. Four of the best guys who ever played the game at their position, right here. Let's have a round of applause.